time to check in with James Brown and his teammates at CBS Sports for a preview of tonight's Super Bowl. Jane, thank you so very much. You know what? There's not only a buzz in the air here in Atlanta, but with my guys who are all veterans of big games, no question about it. Let's start first as we go to Phil Sims to talk about setting the stage for this game. Well, a lot of things to look at in this game. I think the big question is, can the Rams find a way to make Tom Brady hold the football for an extra half a second? Why is that important? you got to do it with pressure on the receivers, but the best player for the Rams is Aaron Donald. Mm. So if Tom Brady holds that football, he can sack him, disrupt him, throw some incompletions, and maybe even get a turnover with pressure mm. from Aaron Donald. Oh, this is the ultimate chess match when you look at it from a coaching perspective. When you think about Bill Belichick, his ninth Super Bowl defensive mastermind going against Sean McVay, the young offensive genius, his first Super Bowl. But even on the other side of the ball, Josh McDaniels, ex-head coach, offensive mind going against Wade Phillips, the ex-head coach, defensive coordinator of the LA Rams. You're talking about these guys going back and forth. The ultimate chess match will be played out here on Sunday. Yeah, Phil, you mentioned forcing Tom Brady into a turnover situation. Situation. I'm looking at a couple of duos out there. Marcus Peters and Aqib Tlaib, two of the best ball hawking cornerbacks in this game. And you look at Gronk and Julian Edelman. We know these guys are the best pass catchers in the postseason. Let's see if they can turn some of those big plays possibly into turnovers. You know, for me, Super Bowl 53 is all about legacy, guys. Belichick and Brady, if they win, they'll have won their six. That would be the first coach ever to do so. And that would be the first player in NFL history to be a part of six winning Super Bowls. Brady's making his 40th postseason start. <laughs> That's two and a half seasons of extra football football. It should be a great, great matchup between two great coaches, great quarterbacks, and certainly great teams. When I talked to Jane Pauley uh, earlier this week, she said, is there any receiver on any team that might dictate a hybrid defense, seeing zone on one side or a man on the other side, coach? I think when you look at Brandon Cooks, there's one guy who used to play with Oh, me. oh he's Brandon seriously Cooks. answering that oh, question. Oh, Jane Pauley really <laughs> asked that question? <laughs> go ahead. But it is Brandon Cooks. When you're talking about going against his ex-team, he could be the X-factor. Jane, I know you didn't say that, but coach answered it anyway. Back to Jane Pauley. Oh, that was great, JB. Reading my mind, JB. And we'll be right back.